Is Tesla scared of Enphase? The battery wars are raging hot right now. And on today's video, I'm gonna be explaining to you what's going on and why Tesla is surrendering market share to Enphase. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And here at Solar Surge, we do primarily renewable energy, solar power, with battery backup in many cases as well. Now, for those of you who have been following the channel, you know that there is a growing rivalry between Tesla and the Tesla Powerwall battery line and Enphase with their microinverter and their lithium iron phosphate uh, battery line. It's called the Ensemble uh, battery and solar package. And I'm gonna be explaining some things as far as why it appears that Tesla has decided that they are okay surrendering a large portion of the residential solar and storage market to Enphase. The story started two weeks ago when Elon Musk of Tesla announced that going forward, Tesla Solar and Tesla Powerwall would only be available as one bundled integrated package from Tesla using all Tesla equipment as far as the panels, the Tesla inverter, Tesla Powerwall battery, Tesla gateway, uh, all as one integrated package. Now the problem with this is this. Number one is Tesla only serves certain high densi density population centers. So if you live in a major metro area like Houston or Dallas or Miami, then that's fine. But if you're like many of our clients, like myself even included, who live in a more rural area, that just means that you just don't, don't have any access to Tesla. If you're not within a one hour drive, of one of these major metropolitan areas, then you, you may be out of business in terms of being able to get a system directly from Tesla. And I know this because I've been contacted by many solar, you know, solar uh, potential owners around the country in places like Texas and Florida, Virginia, North Carolina, where they're telling me that they wanted to purchase the Tesla solution, but they simply were not able to because Tesla is not willing to service their area. So again, this appears that they're willing to, to sacrifice or to surrender a large geographic uh, portion of the solar market. Now, the other thing that's going on is the supply shortages. Now, I know many of you have given me feedback or some of you even claim that I'm, I'm being paid by Enphase to do this, but no, no, I'm actually a Tesla licensed and authorized dealer. And uh, if I look at over the past two years, I've, I've probably sold more Tesla batteries than any other brand. But being a Tesla partner is, is kind of a love-hate relationship because if, if times are good and supplies are flowing in a very timely fashion, then everything is great. But when the supply shortages hit, Tesla cuts their partners off first while still selling solar and battery packages directly for Tesla Direct customers. And so that leaves us in a position of, as Tesla partners where, yes, I could, I could offer you a Tesla battery, I could sell you a Tesla battery, but I can't necessarily say with a high degree of confidence that I'm going to be able to deliver that battery once the permits are approved and everything is ready to be installed. And so for that reason, you know, not wanting to, to, to bait and switch or not wanting to have my customers waiting around for a long period of time, it leaves me uh, as an installer or as a dealer looking for other options as far as how I can, how I can meet the need for the solar and battery backup for my clients without being you know, subject to the whims of Tesla's you know, supply chain issues. And so that's why the Enphase battery, which is available immediately, uh, not only to you know, Enphase authorized dealers, but also available directly to end users nationwide. So I feel much more confident offering that knowing that I'm gonna be able to deliver when the time comes. The other thing is that for those of you who have an existing solar power system, um, most grid tie solar systems in the U.S. today are either using the Enphase microinverter system or they're using the Solar Edge uh, optimizer system. And so for those of you who already have your solar panels installed and are looking to add the battery now, these are you know, basically your, your, your top two options as far as being able to retrofit a battery onto an existing solar power system. Now again, as a Tesla authorized dealer, we are able to offer the Tesla Powerwall even as an add-on battery, whereas Tesla will not do that type of project themselves. You know, if you want a Tesla battery now, you need to buy a whole package from them. They will not come and retrofit to add batteries to an existing solar system. 
whereas the partners can do that as long as Tesla continues to supply us with the batteries. But for those of you out there that have the Enphase microinverter system already, and you'd like to keep everything under one banner and under one monitoring platform, the Ensemble battery is a great alternative. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, which I'll put a link here, um, when you're operating in a grid down mode, the Ensemble battery has several advantages over the Tesla battery, namely that because the battery and the, and the microinverters on the roof can communicate together, uh, the battery never has to turn the solar array off completely. It can regulate individual solar panels to balance the load within the house and the solar production on the roof. So everything stays on at maximum power all the time. So folks, this has been an update on the battery wars between Enphase and Tesla. Uh, as always, if you're interested in taking a look at solar and battery storage options for your house, uh, feel free to reach out to us on the link below. You can visit us on the website and request a free, no obligation quote. All it is is information to you. There's not gonna be any pushy sales tactics or any you know, requirement for you to go any further with it once you see the numbers. And of course, folks, if you're getting good value from the videos that we're putting out, please click on the like button and also click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way, as we release the new videos, you know, it'll come up in your feed and you won't miss anything that we're putting out. Well, folks, thanks again for taking the time to tune into the channel today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.